click over and share this myself. Hope you are all having a lovely week. Um, staying warm and dry. All right. As you're hopping on, let me know where you're watching from so that I can greet you. I can't always see if you're on. And also share it for us so that we can begin to get the word out on this beautiful Wednesday morning. I'm gonna make sure that I see some people hopping on. All right, I think we are good. Good morning, Jessica, Sean, aha. Uh, thanks for hopping on this morning, Jessica. I hope you have a fantastic work Wednesday. I am leaving from here to go to work as well. So this week we have been talking all about running your race. Um, I, let's see. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. So this week we've talked all about running the race. Um, Tim talked about, Pastor Tim talked about running with a purpose. And Q talked about running your weight race with persistence. Uh, running this race in life, it does take persistence. Um, I, side note, funny story, I went to a Christian school and they gave out uh, Christian characteristics award, characteristic awards, and um, I won persistence two years in a row. I don't know if it was a great thing back then, but it will get you places in life being persistent. All right, now I see people hopping on. Thank you, Sean, for all the, all the love. So yes, running our race, Pastor Tim talked about uh, running with purpose and Q talked about running your race with persistence. You have to have a purpose and you have to have persistence to get you through to the purpose. Good morning, Miss Donna. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So today I titled it, my assignment is to testify because our assignment here on earth as believers, our purpose, what we are striving towards is to point others to Christ, to tell others about the goodness of God, what he's done for you, how he's changed your life, the chains that he's broken off of your life, uh, the joy that he's given you, the peace that he's given you, the healing that he's given you. And that is what we are supposed to do here on this earth. So my main scripture is going to be Acts 20, verse 24, and we're going to read it in two different versions. And we're going to start with the New King James Version. Good morning, Robert Hagen Sr. Thanks so much for joining from Atlanta, Georgia. Sean, I'm being purposely persistent. It's very good. Purposely. You have to have purpose in your persistence. Persistence with your purpose. All right, so we're going to Acts 20, verse 24, New King James. It reads, But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy. So here, I love this version when it says, finish my race with joy. You don't have to be burdened down you are with the cares of this world. That It shows that we can have joy um, in this race that we are running in the ministry, which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So we have given this ministry here on this earth from Jesus to testify of the good grace of God. And I want to jump um, over to 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18, um, because this is where it tells us that this is what we are supposed to do. Um, Passion Translation, it reads, Now if anyone is enfolded into Christ, he has become an entirely new person. All that is related to the old order has vanished, 
and behold, everything is fresh and new. The instant that you give your life to Jesus Christ, you are fresh and new. And then in verse 18, it says, and God has made all things new and reconciled us to him and given us the ministry of reconciling others to God. So here we see that we have been reconciled to him and now it is our job ministry of reconciliation reconciling others to God. That's 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. Good morning, Miss Judy. I miss you, Miss Everyone at Baylor. Hope you're doing well. Um, been thinking about you and your family. Hope your son um, is doing well as well. So um, now we're going to go back to Acts 2024, 20, and we are going to read in the New Living Translation. Good morning, April. So Acts 2024, 20, New Living, but my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus Christ. It is worth nothing unless I finish what I'm supposed to do. Everything else doesn't matter. Don't take my words out of context. But ever, in, in the big picture, everything doesn't matter. Nothing else matters but finishing the assignment that we have been given. So the work assigned to me by the Lord Jesus Christ, the work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. So think about where would you be if you hadn't been told about uh, the love of Christ? Where would you be if you hadn't turned your life over to him? Or the things that you were set free from when you gave your life to the Lord? The other people that are out in this world that are searching, that are hurt, that are broken, they need to know the good news and the wonderful grace of God. We're here to testify of the goodness of God. Um, this past Sunday, good morning, Pastor Lasejo. This past Sunday during worship, I wish I remember, I need to look up what song we were singing, but the Holy Spirit was really speaking to me about this. And it's funny, I, Sean hadn't told me really what um, the topic was for this week, but the Holy Spirit had talked to me about my purpose being here. And yes, I'm to be, um, the wife and the mother that I've been called to be and the nurse and impacting people in those ways in your life is an example to others in the actions that you take, but it's also in the words that you say. Because yes, you're supposed to live your life for Christ and be an example, but sometimes, not sometimes, you have to open your mouth, tell people, do you know that Jesus loves you? And you have to have that boldness on the inside of you that the Holy Spirit brings about, that um, you're empowered through the Holy Spirit. It's not your own words because it takes, it's, it's the actions and the words. And I personally, uh, this weekend was convicted that I need to be um, sharing the love of Christ more, that I need to be bolder, that... Um, it's not only the, my actions that are pointing to Christ, but it's also my words that you need to share the goodness of God. You need to ask people if they know that Jesus loves them and tell them what he did for them and tell them how they can be set free and that they can have peace and joy in everything that salvation offers, that it's theirs free. It's a free gift. They have to do nothing to earn it. They just have to believe in their heart and confess with their mouth. So this weekend, I was really... Um, convicted of that, that I needed to start speaking to people more and being more bold in my daily life at the grocery store, at work. Um, and that is just something that I want to encourage y'all with is these people, everyone that walks by you is an opportunity to share the goodness of God. Um, every life is so precious and who are we to keep that from them. You know, we, it should be overflowing and we don't have, I personally, I cannot have the excuse of, well, I'm just shy. I don't, I don't know if I can go up to them. I, it just makes me nervous. Like we don't have time for that anymore. And that is something that really was stirring in my spirit. And I just wanted to share that. I wanted to encourage you that every life is so precious and we don't get to take, um, 
the things of this world with us to heaven. We get to take souls with us to heaven. And I just want to encourage you, pay attention to those around you, the things that are happening during your daily life and have pray that you would have opportunities to share Christ's love and they will come across your path. Um, but you can't say no, you can't ignore the nudging of the Holy Spirit. You have to obey and you have to do it and he will empower you to do that. It tells us in Acts 1-8, New Living. Good morning, Pastor Kai. Uh, good morning, Miss Kay and Xavier. Um, so Acts 1 8 New Living Translation, it says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So it's not us. He is telling us that we are to be the witness, and the Holy Spirit will give us the power to do that. It's not through us, it's not our own ability. Um, so as you're running your race and you're here on this earth, our job is to testify of the goodness of God that he's done in your life, to be a witness to others. Um, every person you encounter is an opportunity to plant that seed. They may not want to hear it. They may um, slam a door in your face. They may get ugly or yell at you, but the that doesn't matter that it's you doing what you've been called to do here on this earth as being that witness. So I just want to leave you with the challenge um, to step out in that boldness. You're not doing it alone. Um, start with um, start with someone in the grocery store or the drive through line and just start by telling them, hey, did you know that Jesus loves you? And the conversation usually um, flows from there. You don't have to the words to say because the Holy Spirit will give you give them to you. So I just want to encourage you in your daily race that we're running, that we have that purpose and that we have persistence for. Pay attention to those around you, to the precious lives that every single every single person is created in God's image every single person, man and woman, and it is our job to testify of God's goodness. So I hope this has encouraged you. Um, if you did not watch Pastor Tins or Q's devotionals Monday or Tuesday, please go back and watch those. They were very powerful. And this week we will continue on with running the race. Um, before I hop off of here, I just wanted to let you know that we um, have pictures of um, the mom that we are sponsoring and the babies. Legally, we can't post their full faces, so it'll be kind of side shots of the little ones, but we will be getting those out in the next couple of days with kind of um, information about the mom that we are sponsoring, and we will have more videos coming soon from that ministry. So if you want to be a part of that, um, helping the orphans and those women that have been pulled out of sex trafficking and saved, um, we are partnering with Agape Impact Ministries in the Philippines. So when you sow into Salt Shaker 513, you are sowing into that as well as um, feeding the hungry. So all the information is in the um, title above. And then if anyone wants to throw the actual links up for me, if you want to be a partner, that is on our website. Um, and all of that, there's a drop, ba drop down box where you can become a monthly partner and it just directly comes out of your account. We love you so much. We hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Remember, if you ever have any questions, concerns, prayer requests, um, anything whatsoever, we are here for you. We love y'all very much. Message us, email us, and uh, we will get, get back to you ASAP. So today I challenge you to share the love of Jesus Christ with someone. Um, I am going to be stepping out in boldness as well, and I encourage you uh, to do it. You can forever change someone's life and eternal destiny. We love you. Have a great day.